<coughs> fucking ridiculous, man. This is ridiculous. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'd like to welcome you guys to another one take review. This is a Dragon Ball Super episode one and that. Will somebody hurry the fuck up and beat this nigga Jiren Goku? Mother, this, this, this dude. Mm -hmm. This motherfucker so damn unstoppable. This bitch is blocking shit with a motherfucking glare. Nigga, what? This nigga licking this shit and stop. Niggas like, no, I'm looking at it so hard, this shit gonna stop. You wanna punch me? No, you can't even get past my motherfucking force field. You fucking fucking rain. Bruh. Jiren is so fucking OP. Listen, this and this was this the shit that pissed me off about the episode. This man said, I took out the people I need to take out. You guys can handle the rest. I'm finna meditate to the end of the tournament because I'm pretty sure we got this shit in the bag. This fo and Topo, y'all handle this shit. I don't need to do nothing else. I whoop hit I whoop hit ass. I whoop Goku ass. Goku over there looking weak as fuck. I looked at him, just let him know he's still a bitch, and then I closed my eyes because I know can't no any weak motherfuckers touch me beyond my force field while I'm meditating. I'm just chilling. Y'all handle everything else. This nigga so fucking disrespect. He really disrespecting my nigga Vegeta, and I'm gonna need my nigga Vegeta to handle that. I would need him to handle that. Don't no nigga disrespect Vegeta like that, bro. The Prince of all saying is to pull up on this nigga said, fuck Kaba, fuck Universe 4, 2, well, however many other many universes left, fuck Topo, fuck Dispo. Nigga, pull up on Jiren ass, break through that motherfucking little whatever he got around him, and get in his shit. Alright? Fuck letting Kakarot do it every like he always do. Fuck that. I need Vegeta to just step over there and, and, and mix him real quick. But not get eliminated. You start losing with you, you need to get out of there. Retreat. There's nothing wrong with it. All right, okay. <sighs> Dog. Hit pulling out trump cards. Uh, we got to see the two Namekians going against Gohan and Piccolo. I wish we could have saw more of that fight. I think we could probably see more of that down down the road. You know, I think they'll really get into that uh, that fight. Uh, we got Vegeta fucking over Rip Ryan and Rose, Rosie. Which is in base, he just pretty much it's a breeze for him. They running, and you know, even Rick Brand had a moment like, Shit, Do you think we can really win this? And Rosie, like, D your love gotta be strong. I'm thinking as soon as she said that, Regina was gonna blast. I was waiting for that to happen, but it didn't happen. So, we still gonna, we still gonna, they still hanging around. They won't last too much longer. But I'm pretty sure they're gonna get their ass eliminated by that real thing. Regina, they can fuck on him. Regina's just in the cut. Regina's not paying attention to Jen. What is going? Something's wrong, dog. I don't give a damn what nobody say. There is no way Jiren is that fucking strong, and Vegeta, being the same that he is, do not want to fight him or is just not paying attention to him. Something ain't right. Unless Vegeta just waits like, yo, I'm gonna wait to the end, and it's gonna be me and him or something. Also, everybody knew Freeza gonna give uh, Goku energy. Freeza is dead as paid. Won't give a fuck about shit. Also, that that. Preview looked awesome as hell, too. I just want to put that out there. I want to get into the talk about the preview. But, dog, Jiren is so strong, time doesn't affect He's so strong that time does not affect him. Jiren is stronger than time. <laughs> Jiren is stronger than the little Nokia phone. Jiren is Jiren just strong. And it's crazy how they simply put he just strong. Listen. Dog. J dog, Jiren is unbelievable, man. And the fact of the matter, I really want Goku to whoop his ass now. I was fucking with Jiren. But the fact he just really like so confident and just like, I don't need to do this. He he blasted my dog hit turned the one and it fell his shoulders. Like, how gangster you gotta be to do some shit like that in the middle of a tournament where everybody gotta keep their head on the swivel. You get to blast somebody turn this nigga. This boy pulled a step. Jerry pulled a step curry. He blasted him. Turn around. Didn't even wait to see the results. Before it was before the ball was through the hoop, before he hit was on the bench, Jaren turned around and folded his shoulder like I know I got it. Bro, this boy is some kind of special type of uh, gangster, okay? This boy is a he is working for the mob or universe 11. It got to be something like that. Ain't no way this man, you know what I'm really starting to think? I'm really starting to think 
Jiren is the guy in the shirts in the universe of living, and they just faking it for the tournament. And, uh, and, and uh, Vermood is just somebody being a crowd. It's, it's really just a, a, a citizen of Universe 11. And Jen was a real guy to destruct. It got to be the case of something. Because somebody got to explain to me how the fuck this motherfucker is so damn strong. Goku never been training. This motherfucker been meditating. I'm finna meditate for the rest of 2017, all in the 18, all in the 2025. I come out, I'll start meditating then. I don't feel like I'd be as strong as Jen. I, I enjoyed this episode. Good God Almighty, Jaren is so. I, dog, I like the way Hit did this. Hit, you saw we saw a side of Hit we usually don't see. He's like, you guys handle the risk because he thought he was gonna be, be, Jaren, but that that didn't happen. That that didn't that didn't happen. This was a good ass episode, and I can't wait to see what Cauliflower, Cauliflower and Kale do in the future. Cause I'm pretty sure they're gonna have some epic moments. We seen some shit next episode. I guess Vegeta pretty much gonna get pissed off at Kaiba again and whoop his ass. He got Freezer holding his face, and then you got him fighting Rosie. Like it's a lot of shit finna go down in the next couple episodes. But also, Goku, what is Goku gonna get back to Ultra Instinct? Cause I need him to. I really, really need him to get back to Ultra Instinct and get up in Jiren's shit. Because he pretty much, Jiren really just bitched my nigga and pushed him to the side. You know how Goku used to push people to the side? He get tired of fighting Vegeta, he went to hit, then he went to Jiren. In this the case, he's not the dumper, he's the dumpy. Think that's how it's supposed to go. But this damn, damn good episode. I liked it. I liked it, man. Can't, I can't wait till next week. I enjoyed this. Uh, this motherfucker's strong. Uh, hit that like button before you guys go. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. Um, for more Dragon Ball Super reviews every Saturday and discussions in which whenever they might come up. Uh, thanks for watching once again, you guys. I really appreciate that. I'm about to go meditate.